What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Look at this. Let me show you something really quickly. Brand new condos, one bedrooms from the mid 400s, two bedrooms from the high 500s. Is that supposed to be a deal for regular people? I'm just, I'm just wondering. I mean, look, you get the outdoor, indoor club rooms, the rooftop terrace, sunset viewing deck, all of these great things. Look, now, now let me show you something else real quickly. So, it also says right here that 17 homes are under contract and sold six, sold in six weeks. 17 homes under contract and sold in six weeks. Is this normal for y'all? Does, do you feel like you're in a great space? And these, these are nice, right? But they're making a lot of money off of them. Brand new building. And then right across the street, you got more building. It's going to be more luxury high rise. See that all the way up there? Yep. This is the new norm. And you, if you make $50,000 a year, you can forget it, bro. It's not happening. You can't afford to exist in spaces like this. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say the same thing that you always say. You're going to say, well, Anton, you can move out further. And then they're going to go out there and build that out. And then you're going to say, well, you can move to a different state. And they're going to go out there and build that out. You know what's so funny? Cities, inner cities, used to be the place where normal people could exist. They can operate and they are able to thrive and they are able to take advantage of all of the uh built up city services and opportunities what's going on big dog and everything like that but that's no longer the case because whereas there was flight outside of cities back in the 70s 80s and maybe even the 90s nowadays people want to live work and play all in the same area they want public transportation they also want good schools they want a place where they don't have to travel far in order to be able to go to work and things like that and you are being priced out look all around here this is midtown I'm not even downtown i'm nowhere this is just midtown right everywhere everywhere you go you are being priced out now you got two options here you can sit here and fight me and say well anton listen my grandmother and my grandfather made $50,000 a year, and so we should be able to do the same thing. People from 40 <laughs> and 50 and 60 years ago were surviving off of what it is that you're trying to validate as a livable wage. And listen, I think you got it messed up because you think that I'm ragging on an average guy, and I'm not. I'm actually trying to motivate you and inspire you to do something that you wouldn't normally do so you can actually have a life worth living because contrary to popular belief, society is not slowing down for you. Does not care about how you feel. Don't care about how much you're trying to validate $50,000. I'm telling you that the average person that make $100,000 a year is living paycheck to paycheck. That is a fact. The average millennial making over $100,000 a year is living paycheck to paycheck. That is a fact. I'm not telling you what I believe. I'm telling you what the consensus is and how much people are making and why it's not enough. Now, you can sit here and you can try not to compete. But unfortunately, America, with all of its beautiful flaws, is a capitalistic country. They trying to, to turn it into some kind of socialist country. Shout out to Feel the Burn Bernie Sanders, who is completely unelectable when it comes to president of the United States. But in reality, people don't care how you feel. They're going to compete. They're going to continue to have inflation because prices are going to continue to go up based off of the fact that you cannot compete and they want more. And with their continuing to buy assets and they invest in themselves and they aligning themselves with groups of people that's going in the direction that they're going in. So they're not worried about it because they beating the rate of inflation. Inflation is at an all time 40 year high, 9.1% as the recording as of the recording of this video. And you sitting here, wasting your time, complaining to me about what you can and can't have and modern women and money and all of this other type of stuff. 
Meanwhile, you sitting and chilling, you trying to still work 40 hours a week just because that's what society a long time ago established as the, the means, the median, and the mode. Remember that in school. As, they, as society established is reasonable? According to who? Listen, listen. And yesteryear, a long time ago, there was no standard as far as how many hours that you needed to work in order to be successful. The standard was you do what you have to do to get what you need in order to make sure that your family is taken care of or you 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 rack up what it is that you need in order to move into the next the next class, the next city over, the next town, whatever it is that you it it took, that's what it was. You eat what you kill. And now you're trying to move based off of modern standards because you a modern woman. I'm talking to the men. You a modern woman because you zesty zesty and we out here in Atlanta and you feel comfortable because there's some more zesty zesties to validate your bad behavior and you running in the victim Olympics, which is one of the reasons why people always try to get it easy and you see all of these PPP loans and everybody's starting to get arrested now, it ain't gonna fly no more. That ain't what the move is. Nobody cares. You're gonna have to run it up. You're gonna have to grind. You're gonna have to hustle. You're gonna have to go get it. And let's be clear, that's what men do. We compete. We don't sit here and whine and complain. We don't sit here and ask for handouts. We don't we don't beg the government to forgive us our and our student loans. We run it up. We face our obstacles. We get to what we got to get to. And the reality is this. Listen, I mean, let me break it down to you. Let's just say, because they say the average person, the average black man makes $47,000 a year. Um, and the average black woman makes $40,000 a year, right? And let's say that... <laughs> We want to use the average in order to try to justify how we move it. In reality, the average is much lower because the numbers are skewed by all of the people that's actually making millions and millions. And it's, it's, it's a lot of people that's getting to that bag. Trust me, I have a network of people. Oh, you, you don't even have to go by me. You don't have to go by my anecdotal experience. You don't have to go by none of that. All you got to do is look it up. Technology is your friend, my friend. And there are a ton of people that's getting to that bag and they're not making excuses. They're not waiting on you. And so the numbers are extremely skewed because you have a whole lot of people making a whole lot of money. And you got or you got a, a, a small subset of people compared to the population making a lot of money. And you have a whole lot of people, almost the rest of the population, making no money. And so when you put that together, there's actually very few people that's in the middle because the middle class is going away. And... It all averages out when you combine all of these people, despite the fact that you got billionaires and millionaires. But the reality is that the regular everyday person that goes to work every day is not even making that. That's real talk. That's real spill. Listen, it don't get no realer than that. You know Anton is going to tell you the absolute positive, positive truth. And you're going to have to grind. You're going to have to hustle. So listen, listen, listen. I'm not trying to discourage you. I just want to give you a truth pill. And the truth will set you free. If you don't want to compete, then you can go and move to a socialist country where they're going to give you a standard living and a standard wage regardless of what you do. You can sit and sleep all day as long as you do the very minimum possible. Reminds me of uh, the UAW and when they used to work in a plant and they did the minimum possible just not to get fired. And the union spent all of their time defending people that wasn't doing the thing that's best for them. You can do that or you can align yourself with a group of people that's going in the direction that you're going in. Link to the Patreon and the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. We got built a business where I'm showing you how to build your own businesses, where I'm putting up my own money in order to do so. Hey, how you doing? We have uh, mastermind sessions. Those recordings are up. Unlock it as soon as you join. We got the Discord that's connected to the Patreon, which allows you to align yourself with a group of people that's going in the direction that you're going in. We have, uh, it's too much. It's, it's too much information available to you that helps you level up, that you're not taking advantage of just because you want to continue to run in the Victim Olympics. So, four hundred to $500,000 just for a one or two bedroom, that's becoming the norm. That's becoming the norm. And uh, if you want to compete, if you don't, it's up to you. You can give me a personal call. You can reach out to me, antondaniels413 at gmail.com. We're going to get you set up. We're going to get you popping. But it's up to you, man. Life moves on without you, regardless of whether or not you like it or not. And you can you can decide that you want to roll or you cannot. But either way, life is going on. I love you. I appreciate you. I hope you do the right thing. I'm going to holler at you later.